The HP 50G and the HP 49G Plus both come from the factory in algebraic mode. See these three letters up on the top right corner of the screen? ALG. It's what some users call brain dead mode. Why would they release this super powerful machine in brain damaged mode? My guess? Marketing. Marketing was trying to introduce this machine to the high school market. Volume sales. And what did they do? Possibly, they told the production department to create a mode of operation in which this superb machine was toned down to operate like a cheaper G83 calculator. That kind of backfired. Why would you want to buy an expensive machine to use it as a cheaper one? Duh, just buy the cheaper one and save a lot of money. It is like buying a super jet airplane and then use it as a car. Jeez, just to buy a car. Now, to access the full power of this handheld computer, yes, a computer, it is a computer disguised as a calculator. Its brain is a totally awesome risk-based ARM processor. As I was saying, to access the full power of this machine, we need to get it out of algebraic mode and into its native mode, which is RPN. Here is how. Click on the mode key this dialog appears. The first field of the dialog, operating mode, is highlighted and ready to be changed. The function keys from F1 to F6 now carry soft labels. Up here, that tell us what is their current function. Click on F2. Choose. A pop-up menu appears with the two available modes of operation. With the arrow keys, highlight RPN. Then press either Enter or F6, which is OK. That is that. The calculator is now in RPN mode. But we are not finished. Let's move down to number format. The default is standard, which is all right most of the time. Engineers may prefer engineering mode that shows results always in millis, kilos, megas, micros, gigas. That's pretty cool when you're working in electronics. But for the sake of legibility in this series of videos, I am choosing fixed with two decimal digits. What is FM? Fraction mark. That is, if you're in an English-speaking country, leave it as a point. If you're elsewhere, you may choose the comma as your fraction separating symbol. Observe that on this field, the F2 keys function is now check. And on check two. We are in Canada, so we leave that unchecked. Angle measure. In trigonometry and associated situations, I prefer degrees to radians. Personal choice, so choose. Arrows and enter or OK. Now we go one level deeper. Click on F3, CAS, Calculator Algebraic System. With the arrow keys, go to each one of the fields and with the F2, the check key, make sure that only check up fields numeric and approx. Click OK and we're back in the previous dialog. This is the end of the first part of the setup. Now we go in even deeper. The mode of operation of the HP 50G is controlled by 128 software switches. Hewlett Packard calls those switches the flags. So we can either set or reset with a check key each one of these flags. With the 128 flags you have an enormous number of possible combinations. I will not bore you with why I chose each flag setting the way I did. I will just tell you what is my favorite setup. After years of using the HP 50G, in time you will fine-tune it to your own preferences. Here we go. Click on F1, Flags. I check flag uh, 03, so when I type pi or square root or sign, I get the actual number and not just a symbol. If I type pi, I want 314. I don't want the Greek letter pi. What am I doing? I promised you not to bore you. OK, OK. Check um, 22, 27, 
40, 41, 55, and 56 to kill the beeping. You know it's annoying. Check 68, 72, 73, and 74 because the screen is tiny and I want to see as many digits as possible at the same time. We'll get back at why I set flag 74 after I finish with all the flags. Set 80, 81, 82, and 90 also to maximize the information on the screen. When I write a vector, soon I prefer to see all its elements at the same time instead of them scrolling to the right out of sight. So I set 97 and 98. Flag 105 is also set and also 111 and 116. One thing, I prefer soft menus on top of F1, F2 to F6 instead of a pull down menu. I find it easier and faster. So I set flag 117. Set as well 119 and 120. And now click OK or Enter. Again OK or Enter and we are set. But we are not leaving yet. I promised you that I'd tell you why I set flag 74. Also make sure that any other flag that I did not mention is left unchecked. Now, on flag 74, historically calculators were used first to tally money, to add and subtract money, that is. So it made sense to have quantities right and justified with cents on the first column, dimes on the second, decimal points on the third, dollars with dollars, etc. Accounting. That tradition was carried over to handheld calculators. And that is fine when you're in finances, economy, administration, accounting, or the like. But for scientists or engineers, seriously, we operate with microamps in the same expression at mega ohms, so right justification is not an issue. But it does not end here. In the HP 50G in RPN, often we need to specify the stack level of a value. You see this little number on the left? From level 1, at the bottom 2, level 2, 3, 4, etc. When numbers are on the far right, it is not always easy to read quickly what level of the stack they are in. But when they are left justified, it's way easier. And that is all, folks. See you in the next video. I hope.